Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to the first challenge of 2023. So for my people that are from like the movie community, you're just like, Stephanie, what is this 10 by 10 challenge? I don't know what that is. If you're not, because up until like two weeks ago, I also did not know what this was. So basically I'm playing 10 games, 10 times within the year. And I'm just here to showcase um, the 10 games I'm gonna be playing for the year. All right, so first up is going to be Wingspan and I'm actually going to be like comboing Wingspan and Wingspan Asia. I feel like I'll probably be playing this one more just because it's new. And um, if you've never played this game, it's just a beautiful like, engine builder i guess where you're collecting birds and putting them into your habitat this is a standalone game and also an expansion to like the original wingspan into all the other wings but you can incorporate these cards into that but if you are new to the hobby and you're maybe like interested this could be like a starting point it is a duet mode uh, so just two players then we have the lost ruins at anarch and i really really love this game i did um get the expedition leaders and i have it in here people from the community here are probably gonna hate me because like i threw away the, the the box the expansion box this is a really really great like worker placement um you're exploring different areas and trying to like bump tracks and you're discovering new like sites and fighting like these guardians or whatever and you're trying to have like basically the most points i guess at the end right it's like the points that matters and you're getting artifacts and stuff it just has one of my favorite like solo variants which is just flipping a card where it's going to block another spot and i don't really have to mess with anything arc nova it's another one uh we're building a zoo here and um it's another one that's really simple with the solo mode as well and I actually really, really enjoy this one way more solo than with other people. But I do want to try it like a two player because I've only played that three and solo. I'm trying to like build enclosures, put animals in there, like make conservations and build sponsorships and like sell tickets. And <laughs> I'm like terrible at this, y'all. Oh my god, I just want to say, people from, from this community, I absolutely love y'all and I'm so grateful that you're letting me like dip my toes into your pool. You guys are super, super friendly. I'm so nervous to be honest with you. And I just feel like everybody here is so, so friendly and I really, really appreciate y'all. All we want to do is just like find people like to play board games with. Okay, we have Sagrada next and it's another one super easy super simple so this one is a little bit more thinky because it is a little bit more of a puzzly game you're trying to make this like beautiful glass stain window with like dice there's dice placement involved and again solo playthrough is really really simple it's really beautiful and yeah i'm it's very quick so this is a game that i could probably play all 10 games like in like a day to be honest with you because it's so quick setup is super super easy as well uh honestly out of all this um, this is the simplest setup. Art Nova for sure is the one that's like, that's the beast right there. That's gonna be the one that I feel like I'm gonna have the most trouble with just cause it's just so much. All right, then we have Terraforming Mars Ares Expedition. I've never played Terraforming Mars, but this is like, I don't know. What would this be like? Like a card builder or something? I don't know. Engine builder? Engine builder, right? I really, really love this game solo. Um, I've played this at two players. These type of games, honestly, same like with Hadrian's Wall, which I just got. I've only played one game. Where it's one of those where I don't really feel like another player's interaction really does much in a way. Like, that, that makes sense. Like, it's one of those almost like solo individual kind of modes. I don't really know how to explain it because I'm terrible at this. It, it's just one of those that I just prefer solo and I love having cards in my hands, like one of my favorite things as well. I love getting like my engine going, especially when you start getting like all these really good like discounts. All right, then we have Marvel United. It's another one that's really, really simple. I really love all like the little action figures and basically you're just one of the Marvel heroes that's trying to stop the big bad guys. If I haven't realized, I think all of these are like my favorite games of 2022 <laughs> so far right yeah i mean i had had the other wingspan i just got wingspan asia app oh, actually no i did have wingspan asia when i did that game but i hadn't played it yet so that's why i didn't have it on there but um i think everything on here is my top 10 games to be honest that shows you how much i love the games yeah then i'm like yes i'm gonna be playing these you kind of start you know playing your cards just kind of like around in a little circle 
and it's almost like a little comic book um, that you're kind of doing with like you, you play a card and you use those two actions plus you're able to use the action from the previous person that used the card. The Red Skull is like the easiest one to beat. Um, I don't think I've been able to beat Ultron. I think I I think I felt with him to be honest with you because he was really hard because he like what uh he multiplies or something i can't remember that could be another game that i'm thinking about but it's really really fun super quick as well and um yeah marvel united i do want to get some of the um other like i want to get the x-men one because the x-men are my favorite superheroes so favorite game of last year was cascadia this is just one of like my feel good quick games that i, I just absolutely love i am going through like solo kind of playthrough with the that's in there <laughs> i'm like on d i think d level or whatever but this game is like a little puzzle game as well and you're just trying to make your cascadia deal this is a drafting tiling game right that sounds right each turn you're going to draft a tile you're going to draft uh, an animal that are in the same little row unless you have like these little nature tokens which lets you pick from a different row a different whatever and you're going to fit them into your habitat and the tile that you get has to fit within one of the habitats you kind of have and then the animal doesn't necessarily have to go on top of the tile that you got but it has to be able to be placed into one of the tiles that's already in your habitat and then basically just trying to get all the animals to be happy which is the salmon um the eagles the elk bears foxes I feel like that's it um and they each kind of want different things and they want to be a certain like situations and you just kind of score points not just by the animals but by the habitats as well and it's super easy and i love seeing how my little kind of like cascadian little deal kind of turns out and i never ever would have thought that a game about nature would be my favorite game like i just cannot believe a game like this like i absolutely love so so much like i never would have thought that to be honest with you all right so now we got parts yeah i finally got parts i did talk about this game also my favorites of the year but this was just a game that i played on bga i ended up picking this up during that bars and nobles like 50 percent off sale and i really really enjoyed the solo mode everything's like moving around but i do like the like the storage so i think everything's pretty good i think so uh but yeah uh it's super it's like that's another one kind of like cascadia which is really feel good and like just kind of a cozy little game and there's not really too much to it either it's like you're just hiking around trying to like visit all these beautiful parks and reserves and everything and then we got the ranger who's kind of all these two rangers that are coming right behind you and they don't really want to bother you but you know there's like Things that they're also doing that could be a little bit mean and i'm gonna go ahead and put this down because things are sh shifting and making a lot of noise it's like you against the ranger and uh i like um the little kind of situation that i have it gets if it gets all like the water and the sun tokens to kind of fill up the little the little solo playthrough that like interfere your fears with things that you're playing with whether it's like getting rid of your camera getting rid of all like your water your trees or whatever it may be uh so not so many like good things which is kind of funny because i don't think that happens when you play with other people if i recall correctly but so it's a little bit i guess like meaner when you do the solo version of it but again if you're able to manipulate and move not really manipulate but like calculate where you're going and where the ranger's going you should be good i haven't had like too many mean things happen i've only played it solo twice i think and it hasn't been like terrible or anything like that so it's gonna be one that i didn't talk about in my favorites of the year i'm surprised i really do enjoy it but um i didn't like love it i guess it's like a honorable mention or whatnot but that's gonna be uh dungeon strike in danger this is a rolling right and i really really enjoyed it I, i've played this um like at work um and my co-worker really really enjoys it i've actually given her a couple of the sheets so she can play at home with her family because you know you just need some dice it's really really simple you're basically like a dungeon crawler deal you're rolling some dice and you're kind of like uh picking two different numbers of the white ones and if you roll the dice if you're like the lead one you use one of the black dice uh, but basically you're using four dice at all times and you're just kind of going through the uh the dungeon marking things off and like getting you know coins and certain killing monsters or hitting monsters and picking up coal or whatever it may be that you're going through the dungeon and then at the end trying to beat the boss man it's another one that i really really um enjoy i've really been uh liking brother rights and i'm starting to think that maybe i should have put hadrian's wall on here again that i just i just got it and i'm wondering now if i should replace one of these for that because hadrian's wall i mean it's so big y'all 
but that big old box and it's nothing but like paper y'all like seriously it's like these two big things of paper <laughs> i was just like this is so heavy i was intimidated i don't even want to talk about hatred as well right now y'all let me fix my wig last time it's gonna be three sisters all right three sisters we're over here to fight this damn heifer farmer edith I, yeah i don't know what we did to her okay did we like sleep with her man is she jelly of our garden i don't know but this heifer likes to come over here and destroy your garden okay she likes to get up into the shed destroy the mason jars take up the mulch take up all, i don't know stuff and you're trying to get like certain points and she goes oh hell no i'm gonna come over here you know what let me just take my earrings off real quick because me and farmer Ian, we we about to tear about to go at it y'all you're going through like this rondelle action and you're basically trying to farm pumpkins and beans and corn and you're trying to do things with fruit and like things in the shed and some like flower chingaderitas and i've never really messed with like the apiary and the fruit i probably should start going more with the with the the fruit though because farmer edith always goes for the fruit and i want to get at her because i'm so sick and tired of her yes <laughs> but uh yeah this is my list you know what i am i'm gonna i'm gonna hold on okay yeah yeah i made up my mind i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna bring um hadrian's wallet here okay um jenna rose you got me into this game i adore you I'm sure you already know who jenna rose is she's from the board game garden if you want somebody who's more like calm more chill more zen then that's who you need to go follow because i'm like I'm a little bit too much y'all but if you want like calmness and like yes Jenna Rose that's my girl look it's like you got your little you got your tiles right and then these right okay and then instructions okay and then look at this yeah how big this is how this is this is what weighs down the game I'm gonna I'm gonna take Ark Nova off of this list just because Ark Nova definitely is it's a table hog. I really really like it and I actually play it pretty quickly but it is a lot to set up and this one again is just so easy like I just saw how quickly I took everything out here. All right guys okay so my battery right now okay so here it is my 10 by 10 challenge will I be able to complete these 10 games or play these 10 games 10 times within the year I'm pretty confident I will. I think I really, really think so. But so far, this is how it's going. I'm gonna go ahead and every month when I do my like wrap up of what I played that month, I'm gonna update you guys here. All right, guys, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, comment, share, all that other good stuff. And that's it for me today. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.